My favorite debugging story where everything went wrong was a very weird bug that I experienced at a company a couple of years ago. So what was happening there was we had the problem that there were certain APIs in a browser that were not available. So we started implementing, you know, checks to catch when we tried to call methods that were unavailable, right? And we were chasing like a rabbit, you know, it was like, okay, apparently this API is not available. Okay, so we need to polyfill it. Apparently this API is not available. Okay, we need to polyfill it. And then the polyfills in some cases also started to break down. And we were like, oh my God, what is happening here? Like, why is nothing working? We really thought someone was using the oldest browser in the game. It felt like someone was using like Windows 95 to visit a website with very modern features. You know, it involved real-time video streaming and stuff like that. And we couldn't figure out what was going on until one day something changed, something flipped. I think someone like preloaded a very obscure list of like thousands of different checks from repository or like a package or something like that to really pinpoint the exact version of the browser that was being used and the exact kind of browser that was being used based on yeah. just different checks, you know. And what they found out was that the person using this very advanced software with video streaming technology was visiting the app in a Wii browser, like Nintendo Wii. And that was like, why on earth are you using your Wii, you know, for video chats? There's not even a camera on that thing. Uh, you know, you're just sitting there with your two knuckle controllers and then watching streams or stuff like that. That was a very crazy story. And we just added a warning for the special person that said, hey, please do not visit our page from a Nintendo Wii.